praise the lord hallelujah blessed be the mighty name of our lord jesus christ in this wonderful and blessed morning dear children of god let us together on this year of 2023 on this march 10th friday morning to worship our god to praise our god our heavenly father for every wonderful opportunity let us thank him hallelujah father thank you thank you jesus thank you lord thank you last full morning our lord protected us let us lift our hand and thank him father thank you thank you jesus thank you lord thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night let us lift our hand and tell the lord thank you father thank you thank you jesus thank you lord with good health happiness this morning the lord who woke us up for his grace and mercy let us thank our lord hallelujah father thank you thank you jesus thank you this morning also our lord for miraculously wonderfully beautifully for leading us let us thank him hallelujah father thank you thank you jesus thank you lord thank you father father we worship you father we praise you father we tell you thank you father for your love is great upon us great is your mercy towards us father great is your compassion towards us hallelujah father thank you thank you lord thank you father we worship you father we praise you father we tell you thank you when we remember your love when we remember your grace when we remember your mercy father we tell you thank you the psalmist is saying in psalms 89 i will sing of the mercies of the lord forever with my mouth will i make known your faithfulness to all generations verse 5 and the heavens will praise your wonders o lord your faithfulness also in the assembly of the saints for who in the heavens can be compared to the lord who among the sons of the mighty can be likened to the lord verse 7 God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be held in reverence by those around him. Let us all pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful, blessed morning, thank you. For the good sleep you gave us last night, thank you. Last full morning for protecting us, thank you. With good health for waking us up, thank you. This morning for victoriously leading us, for thy grace, thank you. Abba Father, this morning... everyone who is hearing this voice today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we bless and pray for them everyone's need lord let thy grace prevail father everyone personally this morning we bless them father let the sick be healed those who are going through financial difficulty let them be delivered father every discomfort in the body be gone god's work in the life of your children this morning for revealing it thank you Father this morning we pray for children who are writing the exams father for the miracle you are doing through them thank you for being with them and by their hand oh father thank you in the fullness of the holy spirit for covering your children father we thank you Father, those who are going through other problems and difficulties, we give them into thy hands and pray. Father, you have to do a miracle. Those who are suffering from heart problems, we pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let them be healed. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, miraculous healing, let it prevail upon them. Let their body be strengthened. Let their health be restored and be vibrant in, like how Jesus Christ has lived in this world. How you are in heaven. health was let your children also have the health let your children have health let them run with the good health and to do thy work for the grace of father we thank you in the name of jesus christ we bless and pray for your children father we remember all those who are working for thy kingdom lord father cover them under thy mercy and grace in their needs let thy grace prevail thy peace father bless them with we pray Hallelujah for the protection you are the one who gives and for your protection we thank you we give you all the glory Lord Jesus we bless today's church meeting the middle east church meetings we bless it we bless our church meetings everything let it be glorious and blessed in the name of Jesus Christ we pray amen 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 let the lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning let the grace the peace the joy of the lord increase and overflow in your life in abundance I pray today further we are going to meditate from the book of psalms 92 verse 14 psalms 92 verse 14 it is written they shall still bear fruit in old age they shall be flesh fresh and flourishing the word of the lord is saying they shall still bear fruit in old age they shall be fresh 
and flourishing. About whom is this word of God talking? Let us read Psalms 13. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord, in the church of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fl- fresh and flourishing. Hallelujah. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord. About them the word of the Lord is saying. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will be fresh and flourishing. When it came to the New Testament. You and me. We are planted in Christ Jesus. We have become the temple of the living God. We are planted in Christ Jesus. You are rooted in Christ. You and me, our root is in Christ. A child of God who is in Christ, his and her root is in him. We are the temple of the living God. Because we are rooted in Christ, what happens? The life in Christ. We who are in Christ always will keep on bearing good fruit. That is why Jesus said, when you bear much fruit, my father is glorified. So the fruit does not cease or stop. For where are we rooted? We are rooted in Christ. Because we are rooted in Christ, we, our fruits does not cease or stop, but always will keep on producing and producing. Lift your hand and give God the glory. Hallelujah. In Christ. Hallelujah. The grace to bear fruit through Christ. That that inheritance has come upon us. Always it keeps flowing through us. Where are we rooted? In Christ. So we take everything from Christ. And the fruit will be out from us always. There would be no season problem. Or no drought. Or not being fruitful. But every season we will be keeping on bearing fruit. Because the reason is. Where are we planted? Where are we rooted? In Christ. Hallelujah. The psalmist is saying, he's like water. Hallelujah. Plant which is besides still waters. This is what it talks about us also. Hallelujah. We are rooted in Christ. We are planted in Christ. So at the right time, always will bear fruit. It will not be dried up. Hallelujah, evergreen, everlasting. So we should understand, I am planted because I am planted in Christ. Hallelujah. My root because it is in Christ. Hallelujah. Because I am the temple of God. From me always will bear fruit. Age does not matter. Situation does not matter. Where I am does not matter. What climate it is. Which country I am does not matter. Wherever I am. We are rooted in Christ. We are planted in Christ. So always what will happen. What is in Christ would be kept producing out of us. Hallelujah. When you see a sick to be healed, that healing power will come out of us. The one who is in a sin, the grace to overcome sin will keep coming out of us. In any situation, the fruit of the Holy Spirit will come out of us. In this manner, the Lord would be glorified through us. According to how we bear fruit, the Father would be glorified. Wherever we are, whatever situation we are, when we bear fruit, the name of the Lord is being glorified. So, if you say it is difficult to bear fruit or the fruit is ceased, there is no kind of situation in that manner because we are rooted in Christ. Where are we planted? In Christ. So, surely we would keep on producing fruit. And with these words, let the Lord bless you. I say these words and bless you. What is the words? You shall still bear fruit in old age. You shall be fresh and flourishing. Let me say that again. You shall bear fruit in old age. Not that you will take pension, but you will keep on bearing fruit in your old age. There also you shall be fresh and flourishing. Father, everyone who is hearing this voice today, in any season, in any way, let them be children who are keeping on bearing fruit in the name of Jesus Christ we pray amen amen and amen in the name of Jesus Christ our children shall prophesy our young men shall see visions and the old men shall dream dreams we are blessed we are really blessed we are permanently blessed and highly favored God bless you God bless you God bless you today hallelujah